Hello my friends. I'm going to show you how I string the wire supports on these T trusses. Holes in here. And I feed it through so I get to both ends. I'll start with the middle wires so that I'm not pulling when I pull tight I won't pull the ends together. And I draw it through when I get the wire pulled all the way through, I take a lag screw, this is a two inch lag screw, and I'll put it below the hole, leaving about a half inch stick out. And I take my pliers and I grab it about a half inch of the wire and I start wrapping it around make about two or three wraps then this end I bend it at 90 degrees And that makes it that end into a nail. And you drive it in, sink it in. Now we do the other side. It's pretty close the same, a little bit different. Okay, on this second end, this is the one that we have to pull tight. So we're gonna pull the wire get most of the slack out, drive our screw in, leaving again about a half inch stick out. Slack is out, now we need to cut about four inches and this time We're going to use the nut to draw, to torque this, to draw it tight. I'm stretching the wire right now. Now that I have it tight, I'll take the slack up. And the end of this, about a half inch, bend it at 90 degrees. Bond it in, that'll keep it from slacking off. It'll hold it taut. And if you do have to retighten this, back the screw out, you can put a new screw in and reset it. Now, I set each one individually. I could string back and forth. And the reason I don't do that is if one of the wires breaks, they all slack. If here one breaks, the other wires will still be holding their weight and that wire could be spliced or replaced. I strung the wire. <clears throat> Pull the slack out. This is the end of the wire. It was a hundred feet. Had just enough, has a little bit extra. If I would have looped between the, the holes, I would have been short on the hundred foot roll. If I would have wrapped this around and connected, I would have been short again. This saves wire. It also makes very tight uh, tying method. Okay, I already have it secured on the other end. I'm going to use this now to turn and tighten and you can see the nut turning that's that's okay that helps uh, wrap it tight around the threads 
And then you get two to three turns. I got about three turns in there. Cut it to length. Bend about a half inch, 90 degrees. And that gives me, right there is about a three quarter inch. Drive that in. Just as if it was a nail. It's got all four wires on there. They're very taut. Thanks for watching, my friends. Bye bye.